extra in TV shows, films and music videos. And Vietnam veteran John Bryant is helping North Vietnamese families find their missing relatives. Well done, guys. This because if you get this right, you win a thousand dollars. You get the next one right, you win one hundred thousand dollars cash. Wow! What would you do with a hundred thousand? Oh, firstly, I'd buy myself a new car. Yeah. Um, put some on the house, go for a holiday, and probably get some to charity. Good stuff, Priscilla. If you get this wrong, John, you get one question. I'll give you a thousand for walking across. Yeah. And if you get it right, I'll give you fifty thousand dollars. Anyway, Priscilla, you're in the hot seat. It's all your game at the moment. Here comes the question. For $1,000 cash. Born in 1877, Australian artist Hans Heysen is most famous for producing what type of artwork? A. Portraits. B. Sculptures. C. Nudes. D. Landscapes. Oh. I don't have any clues, so I'll have to guess. No, it might be B. 20 seconds. Mm. What can be, Eddie? Final answer? Yes, final answer. E. John, what would you have gone for here? Landscapes. Landscapes. Landscapes is correct. <laughs> He lived there. He came from Hamburg originally in Germany and then moved to South Australia with his family. Sorry, Priscilla, you That's did really okay. well. Missed by that much. Okay. Thank you. Thank Good you. on you. Bye bye. JB is his name to his friends. Yes. His son, JB, Joshua Bright, is with us. Hi, Josh. G'day, Eddie. Good on you, mate. John Bright. Married for 45 years to Wendy. He's got four sons Daniel, Joshua, Luke, and Ned. A Vietnam veteran who uh, was involved in one of the biggest battles in Vietnam on May 1968 when the 3rd Battalion of the Royal Australian Regiment was involved at the fire support base in Belmoral. Correct. Do you think about that a lot? All the time. Yeah. No, not all the time, but yeah, quite often, Ed. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just going back actually looking for some of the North Vietnamese uh, blokes that we'd put in the, the ground. Yeah. For a crater of uh, 42 bodies in there. We found one in 2009. And I've only just come back now. Um, and, and why are you doing that to help the families of Well, a those? mate of mine, yeah, yeah, a mate of mine started in about 10 years ago and he started on this uh, uh, trail and he asked me a few questions and I've got photographs of that particular battle. And, and so uh, in the beginning I thought oh, I didn't really care, but yeah, no, it's a pretty yeah. good thing. But Could we did know. locate the bodies, but... Uh, it's going to be an ongoing thing. Uh, Good on you. Yeah, that's it. Good Absolutely, on John. Uh, one of our great heroes. Let's find out what's happening around the globe. John, just for sitting down, I'm going to give you a thousand bucks. Oh, thanks. But Ed. when you stand up, I want you to take away fifty thousand dollars. Do it right after this. John Bryant, JB, Vietnam veteran, was involved in one of the biggest battles in Vietnam. Thankfully, he's with us today. His son Joshua's up the back for fifty thousand. What are you going to do with fifty grand? Come on, we're going to think positively. Well, I've, I've got a, quite a few mates, so I. I probably going to have a big party yeah and uh and um and i might buy a, a new four-wheel drive i think there you go yeah, come on ship. come on john you deserve this mate doesn't he deserve this one of our <laughs> fantastic vietnam veterans we yeah. owe the viet, viet, viet veterans so much after such a tough period of time after you came back good on you mate we hope you win the money you ready Thanks, Steve. let's go for it singer Karen Carpenter was also well known for playing which instrument in the Carpenters? A. Saxophone. B. Trumpet. C. Piano. D. Drums. Oh, well, you'd think I would know this, wouldn't you, Ed? I would hope you'd know. Uh, what do you think? I, I think, um, I think Karen Carpenter played the drums, Ed. Lock it in? I'm going to lock in D. Lock it in, please, Eddie. Lock in D, the drums. Why do you reckon the drums? Because um, the carpenters are somewhere around my era and I think it was unusual for a, a woman to be playing the drums in a band, so... I... A bit hard to play the saxophone and the trumpet and sing at the same time, isn't it? Was, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm 
Well, like Louis Armstrong did it, so there's plenty of no, he was trumpet yeah, players. He was classic, good. yeah. But it's not trumpet, it's not saxophone. Well, that's handy. <laughs> <laughs> Down to 50 50 or phone a friend. <laughs> who, was, who else was in the, in the carpets? Who was, what did brother play? Yeah, that's right. There was, uh, I'm not sure. Who did he play? No, I can't remember. But I. Can't remember? I can't remember. I'm hoping. Wasn't he on the piano? He may have been. But well, if she didn't play saxophone or trumpet and he played the piano. Oh, he played the piano, yes. Yeah. Did he? Yeah, because she played the drums. You're right, you won 50. <laughs> veteran war hero John Bryant won $50,000. He's getting a full-wheel drive. See you at Sunday, Hudson. Good night.